This should be an exciting affair, and along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski, set to bring you all the commentary here on EA Sports. A lot of excitement going into this one here, just moments away from puck drop. Ray Ferraro between the two benches. What do you expect tonight? The generation of offense is going to be really interesting to watch. Both teams like to get their defense up into the rush, and really, you're going to play a little bit of a risky game if you can score more often. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. This has been one we've been waiting for for a while, and it's time to finally see what the payoff is all about. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And that one's turned away. Rochester's across the blue line. Puts it on net. Glove save, and an easy one at that. Dupuis won the draw. Quick feed to Bruce. Colorado Springs looks to move the puck from their own end. The Falcons looking against the half wall. Big stop. Runs him hard against the boards. Slides the puck to Dupuis. Sends a pass over. Cannon of a shot. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play by covering up the puck. Oh, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. Thanks to the guys in the truck, we get a great look at that hit again. He slammed him into the wall. That one hurt. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Cook. Back at the point, they set it up. And it's a quick pass to Manning. Slides that one right across the blue line. Centering pass. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Centering pass. Gonzalez has the puck against the half wall. In the lane ends that threat. Quick pass to Cook. Oh, great read! Grabs the puck here inside the offensive end. Quick feed down low. And he slides it quickly to Wilms. Let's one go. And he comes up with a big time save on that. Here they come on the attack. And he slides it quickly to Manning. Great heads up play by the defender. Colorado Springs will play it from behind the net. Takes that pass back at the point. From the slot, wrist shot, couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. Tosses it on to Walker. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed down low. Handles it along the blue line. Now a quick pass to Wilms. Nice pass. Looks to set up from the side now. He's got the puck with all sorts of traffic around him. Carries it across the line. Sends it over. With possession along the wall. Here's a pass down low. And now he moves it quickly to Weger. Takes the feed. On the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Kruger's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Nichols will play it from the side. Back on a stick now. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. And that one's broken up. Duras grabs the puck inside his own territory. The Falcons have it against the wall. Intercepts the pass. Moves it to Jordan. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Oh, he scores! What a little puck luck with the play! A 
this is a tough one here. The defender thinks he's helping out, but really the puck hits him and goes in the net. The goalie doesn't have a chance. The Tigers get off to a great start here, leading 1-0. Well, they get everybody through the lineup, and now they're on the board already. Great start for them. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Bruce is swooping in on the attack. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And it's a quick pass to McCabe. Brilliant save, read it perfectly. Taken by Bauer. Into the corner now. Good battle along the boards for the puck. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery. He got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Shot right in front. It's in. He scores. Hard to get a button quicker than that. A pair of goals in 40 seconds. Conversely, deflating for the other team. Man, that is a kick in the shins right there. They just couldn't stop the bleeding. Gets in the net. That's where the goals are. The rebound sits there, and he puts it away. Rochester's had the shot advantages, and they also had the lead. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Carries it in. Takes the feet at the back end. No, he scores! Well, that didn't take long. Now the coaches get the, the chance after giving up the goal, they make a change. He puts the right guys on the ice because they go right back down the ice and score. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net. He has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Rochester's been the better team to this point, and the stats show it. Calvert's one possession. Puck picked up in the open ice. Ronaldo's got it in the offensive zone. Four minutes, eight seconds. Sends it over to Walker. Colorado Springs looks to go on the attack. Fires one on goal, and there's the save. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Ronaldo's getting two for tripping. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Our first look tonight at their power play unit. Well, good news for them as they trail by one, they get a power play. The key here, though, James, is to be confident without pressing. Just get the puck to the net. Scores! What a shot! Just 20 seconds apart. That's a pair of goals. Look at this. A comeback completed here, and we got a new game. That was a comfortable lead not very long ago. That face-off win was so clean, nobody on the defensive side could get into position to block the shot. It goes right through off the one-timer. Lots of time left in this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And now he angles it across to Petrie. Bowers exploring options with the puck. Takes the bank feed. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Jordan's got it into offensive territory. Right in the slot. Knocked away. The Falcons look to start the transition game. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Moves it ahead from off the wall. Takes the puck behind the net. Comes up with the stop. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. We are all tied up in this one. 
Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Oh, comes up with a stop. Now he takes it over the line. Here they are on the attack. Here's the pass. Shot shuts him down. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Slides the puck down low. Feeds it down low. Oh, great core strength to hang onto the puck after that. Here's a short pass to Cook. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Picks it off in the offensive end. Puts it on net with the stop. Scooped up along the wall by Brody. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. McCabe's carrying it ahead. McCabe's got it behind the net. Quick feed to Wilms. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. The Falcons get a hold of the puck along the boards. Moves the puck across to Lynn. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Moves it to Ronaldo. Here's an offensive chance. Moves it around along the half wall. And now he moves it to Stone. Stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Mendez plays it into the offensive zone. And now it's over to XD. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Throws it in. Colorado Springs takes possession along the wall. Stone's got it in the defensive end. And he makes the save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. It's all tied up. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the blocker. Moves it quickly over to Morenz. Sends it over to Uyghur. Receives the pass. Moves the puck along the half wall. Centered out in front. And that's picked off. Colorado Springs has possession of the puck in the offensive end. Takes control of the puck. Takes the pass. With the blast. Too much congestion blocks the shot. And the goaltender covers things up. All sorts of frantic action in front of the net. Yeah, everybody's scrambling around trying to help what's happening. Everybody's getting out of position. They needed some help. They got it from the goaltender. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Quick pass to Uyghur. Handles the puck. Plus setting up against the wall. Here's a chance to set up now. A rocker off the blocker. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Here's a chance right in the slot. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Dumps it in and they'll skate up. Cross to Kruger. Petrie's got it along the boards. And change is coming up front as the puck is sent in deep. Stone's moving the puck through his own zone. From along the wall, takes a shot. Answers it with an even better save. Walker's got it across the line. Let's it go. And a great save. Dishes it to Stone. Snaps it on net. And not much on that one. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Bauer. And he comes up with it. Pinned up along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Harper's moving it ahead. Slides it over to Bauer. Moves it to Walker. Looks to set up at the point now. Picked up along the boards by Thomas. Sends the pass over. Moves the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, what a save in front! Trostanovich is going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Calvert's got to know right before he takes this hit. 
that he's going to get run over. Still lots of time left in the period. We got a tie game. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Pass back to the point. Takes a shot! Denied by the goaltender. And now he tries to get it across to Hammond. Colorado Springs gets the puck near the boards. Loves the puck into the offensive zone corner. Denies him with the save! dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Pulak's gaining momentum. Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Petrie's got it in the offensive end. Into the corner of the attacking area. Along the half wall with the puck. Rips it and he comes up with the save. Past the midway mark of the frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Tigers will play the puck from behind the net. Rochester's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Back to the point it goes. Point shot! And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Out front! And that one's broken up. Through center along the wing. Nolan's got the puck. Rochester's looking to break out of their own end. Over the line they come. They've got the defense outnumbered. And he slides it quickly to Bruce. And the puck escapes the zone and they'll be forced to tag up. And now he angles it across to Dubuis. Feeds it on over to Cami. They've got numbers. Here's a short pass to Dubuis. Off the stick. That goes off a twig. wins it in the offensive zone on the attack along the boards quick feed to Thomas passes over to Riley smart read by the defender to come up with it feeds the puck across to Gonzalez takes a shot and that one's stopped Colorado Springs gains a hold of it brings the puck into the offensive end now shoots it scores and he puts his team in front James, this game looked really comfortable as a tie game. Now they're ahead. They've got to continue to push. The Falcons have taken a one-goal lead here, but it could easily be more. It could be because they've had a really good first. Now as we enter the second half of this period, can they stretch this lead out? Moves it quickly over to Nichols. Here's a chance on the doorstep. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. When you're down, sometimes you have to take a chance. A little bit of a risky play, but you got to push the envelope. Stones him in front. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Quick pass to pull off. Takes a shot, traps that puck tight into his chest. And we're going to get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Colorado Springs still has time to work here in this first period to increase this lead. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Bradley's going off for hooking. As soon as he stops skating, he has to reach out with his stick parallel to the ice. It's going to get called most every time. 
Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. When you've already scored on the power play and you get one now, you can't wait to get over the boards to get started again. Gets it out of his own end. And the goalie comes out to play the puck. Time winding down here on this power play. They'll get a fresh set of legs here for this one last burst. Stone scudded against the boards. Booming shot just wide. With possession along the wall. Riley's eyes are looking for three. He's got two in his back puck. Scores! The power play had cashed in earlier. They do so again here. Really nice effort with the extra man. was patient they worked around until they found the best shot but if they don't have that traffic in front of the net it's not going to matter the puck goes through the traffic past the goalie and they've got a power play goal the Falcons have widened the lead here in this first period certainly been in control now a two goal cushion great place to be and play resumes as the puck is dropped. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Slides it back to the blue line. Moves it around along the half wall. Moves it to Gonzalez. And he slides it quickly to Gonzalez. Moves right to the middle. That goes wide. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Takes it across the blue line. Shot. Misses over the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Here's a short pass to Walker. Here he is in front. Denies him. Schilling's right on top of that chance. Great A spot. Great A save. Moves the puck along the half wall. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. Let's get the official decision. The good old-fashioned hook is sending him off to the box. He's almost in the right position, but he's got to give him a little hook. When he gives that tug, he goes to the penalty box and gets called every time. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. I like what they've done on the power play previously here, and so they really want to duplicate what they've done. They have to be aware. The penalty killers will probably change approach. They have to be sharp for that. Colorado Springs has it behind the cage. Slides the puck across to Stone. Slides the pass over to Nolan. Colorado Springs will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Stone. And now he moves it to XD. Colorado Springs gets a hold of it. Quick feed to XD. Here they come on the attack. Takes the feed at the point. Let's it fly and makes the save. And manages to clear the zone. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Colorado Springs has it in their own zone. Works it across to Harper. Here's a shot and makes the save. The Falcons have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities and as a result, more goals. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Thomas. Rochester's gained possession. Gets it out of his own end. The Tigers have it behind the net. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Slides the puck over. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Unloads a shot! Comes up with the stop! Taken along the wall by Manning. Manning's gonna play it against the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And manages to clear the zone. Exploring options from behind his own net. Carries it across the line. A chance right in front. Oh, and comes up with nothing on the play. Referee blows the play dead. 
Another penalty coming up, and that'll do it for the power play. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there. It didn't yeah, work. It doesn't work. No, though. none. Pomeroy's won it off the faceoff. And that one's picked off. 15 minutes, 29 seconds. Back to the blue line. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Comes up with the stop. It's an opportunity for the power play unit to go to work now as the penalty expires. Here in the late goings of the period, it's 4-2. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. The Falcons have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Slides it diagonally to Bradley. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. With the stop. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Finally, Ray. Yeah, they do get it down the ice. I thought they held their structure pretty good. They tried to clear the puck a couple times. Couldn't get it out. Now they're exhausted. Finally, they can get a change. Moves it quickly over to Morenz. Gets it out of his own end. And now it's over to Dubuis. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. First takes it across the line. Puck dumped in and they'll get a fresh group of forwards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Dubuis. Now a quick pass to Hammond. Shot! Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck in his chest. Colorado Springs has capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead as a result here late in the first. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Quick pass to Cammy. Bruton swooping in on the attack. Rochester's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Grabbed along the board by Thomas and manages to clear the zone. From their own end as they get a fresh set of legs here for this man advantage. And now he moves it quickly to Cammy. Cammy's got it in the corner. Trying to clear. And they get it out of the zone. And where are they headed to, Ray? Uh, time for a change. Everyone needs a little break here. They looked a little tired. They get it out of the zone. And they can get some fresh troops on the ice. Let's the wrister go. Gets a piece of it with the blocker. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Manning's out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty-killing unit. I like the work the penalty killers did there. The power play at times looked dangerous, but they didn't give up anything. And the power play is now over. Heads deep inside the offensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Wilms. Turns it aside. Getting into the later stages of this period. Lots of offense here tonight. 4-2 is where we're sitting. Calvert's won the face-off deep inside the offensive zone. Scoops up the puck now. Duras moves it into the attacking end. Takes the pass from the boards. The Falcons ready to go on the attack. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Colorado Springs has it. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. And he slides it quickly to Calvert. Sends a pass over. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Colorado Springs will likely take this lead into the first intermission unless things completely bottom out here. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. The Tigers get a hold of the puck in the open ice. Puts one on net, makes the save. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. 
Moves it to XD. Knocked away. Scooped up along the wall by Petrie. Jordan's got it along the wing. Kruger's got it in the offensive zone. And now he tries to get it across to Jordan. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. 51 seconds. Handles the puck at the point. Throws it on goal. And that one's turned away. Here's a short pass to XD. And now he angles it across to XD. Let's it fly. And there's the save. Colorado Springs has delivered at both ends of the ice, especially offensively, as they continue to lead late in the first. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Rochester's regained possession of the puck. Wilms looks around. Moves the puck behind the net. What a stop. Yeah, that's a race to the post. The goalie wins it there. Gets the pad flat to make the save. Colorado Springs has capitalized on their scoring opportunities and lead as a result here late in the first. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Passes it to Riley. Here's an odd man rush to his teammate. And here's a shot. Blocker save. The Falcons lead it here late this first period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Big save right at the end. And with the sound of the horn, that means the conclusion of period number one. Well, what a start offensively for both sides. It's 4-2 after 20. Hey, fans, now's the time to pick up your team calendar. You can pick them up at kiosk 144 on the lower level. teams heading down the tunnels we'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period
clean sheet of ice. Period two is set to go. Here we go. Middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Colorado Springs can't change much after that first period. I thought it was almost perfect for them. They've had a pile of shots and dangerous ones. Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one! Man, these burn the coaching staff. When they see a player get open in the high slot, the first thing they're going to look for is who's supposed to be standing near him. Colorado Springs has been on fire here tonight. We're only in the second period, Razor. We start calling this point night. Everybody gets a point. You score, everybody's happy when it's like this. Puck scooped up by Bauer. Passes the puck over to Thomas. Thomas plays the puck. All smart heads up play to poke that one away. That's intercepted. Cammy stick handling in his own zone. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Picked up along the boards by Thomas. Carries the puck inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Thomas. Comes up with the stop. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Picks off the pass. Carries it in. Along the half wall with the puck. Tipped in front. Scores! Well, now they're only down by a couple. I guess it gives them a chance. But they've got to score again quick. Now, coaches talk about getting to the front of the net. Make it difficult on the goalie. Take his eyes away. Man, he only could see the player's butts in front of him. He can't even see the puck. Rochester's still trailing in this one, but it's a little bit closer now. A little bit better, and now maybe you can find some energy because there's lots of room to claw back into this game. Moves it quickly over to Manning. Let's it go! Turns it away on the slap shot! Gonzalez has it along the boards. Morenz plays it against the boards. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And now he moves it to Hammond. And now it's over to Morenz. Into the offensive end now. Quick pass to Wilms. Lets it fly off the mask of the goaltender. Boy, right between the eyes. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Brody's got it into offensive territory. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. There's the stoppage of play. Let's see what the officials say. Just an old school tripping call here on this yeah, one, right? Sometimes I think you just get burned here. A little bit of a bad break. You're fishing around for the puck and your stick gets into the other guy's feet. Time for the power play unit to get back to work. Their coaches that run the power play couldn't be much more pleased than the way the power plays work tonight. James, this has been outstanding as they've been successful time and time again. Takes the feed. Nice save by the keeper to trap that puck to his chest. Colorado Springs has been the better offensive club to this point, and that's why they lead here in this second period. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Riley's carrying it ahead. Rochester's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs gains a hold of possession. Gets the puck over to Stone. Sends it across with the stop. Colorado Springs continues to lead here early in the second, getting lots of shots on goal to this point. Setter's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And he slides it quickly to Stone. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. And manages to clear the zone. The Falcons have it behind the cage. Stone's got the puck along the wing. Stone's got the puck. Here's a chance right in front. Here's a shot. Blocker save. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. 
And he's going to get two for hooking on the play, Ray. He should. I mean, he gets his stick out parallel to the ice. He gets it across the player's midsection, and that's kind of a red flag for that penalty. Here we go. A lengthy five-on-three power play looms. That is quite some time on the five-on-three. What a big advantage for them. They have to take advantage of this opportunity. You can't let a two-man advantage slip away. Murs takes the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Thomas. Nice pass. Moves it to Thomas. Gives them nothing in front. And now he tries to get it across to Manning. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Gets it out of his own end. Takes the feed. Right in front with the shot. Stopped by the goaltender. And manages to clear the zone. Here's a short pass to Uyghur. On the attack along the boards. Quick shot. Denies him with the save. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. No shortage of offense on display tonight on the ice. It's a 5-3 game. Nice defensive robbery on that. Colorado Springs will try to make something happen here in the offensive zone. Colorado Springs has found a way to get a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead in the second. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Rochester's got possession while undermanned. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Looking to break out here on the power play. With possession along the wall. Shot on net. Gets in front of it. The Fultons have looked good offensively tonight, generating all sorts of opportunities. The Tigers win the draw and manages to clear the zone. Colorado Springs takes possession along the wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Over the line they come. Reads it perfectly in the defensive end. When you're ahead, you've got to make a safe play here. Get it behind the net. And now he angles it across to Jordan. Pushes it across to Riley. And player hauled down to the ice. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up here. Jordan's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Once he puts up his little token argument here, he's going to circle around a bit and try and regroup here as he goes to the penalty Were you box. a haggler? Always. You never think it's the right call. Not a lot of time to work, but they still have a five on three. Face-off win, quick puck movement, quick shot. You don't have much time on the five-on-three. That's your script. And that's taken by the defense. Gets it out of his own end. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Harper's got it against the boards. Stopped by the goaltender. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. Colorado Springs has been the better offensive club to this point, and that's why they lead here in this second period. Thomas has won the draw. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by the goaltender. Crouton's lugging the puck. Here's a chance to try to get it out of the defensive zone. Cross the blue line, and they'll get that much needed change, Ray. Yeah, they've got to get guys off the ice. They look tired. Now you can get a fresh group on the ice. And he makes the save. Right on the doorstep. And manages to clear the zone. Uyghur's got the puck in his own zone. Thomas brings it in. Here's an opportunity. And he comes up with it. Denies him again. He's sharp on that one. Nowhere to go for the puck. The Falcons get a hold of the puck along the boards. Receives the pass. Quick feed to Nolan. Off a stick. Puck picked up by Harper. Denied by the goaltender. More than half the period left to play. Up to eight goals scored so far tonight. It's 5-3.
Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Gets it out of his own end. Colorado Springs gets the puck near the boards. Moves it quickly over to Riley. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves close to the point. Quick pass to Stone. Can't get a hold of that pass. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Colorado Springs has it behind the net. Moves across the point. Jostling for the puck and he loses control. And manages to clear the zone. XD's taking it from his own end. Stone's got it across the line. Shot! And that one stopped. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. That's another penalty kill for them. They have done a tremendous job this evening killing penalties. At no point have they looked overly stressed. Colorado Springs continues to lead here in the second period, doing a nice job of getting pucks on net. And as a result, they built up this lead. And now he moves it to Gonzalez. And now it's over to McCabe. Gets it over to Morenz. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Puck set across the blue line. Rochester's got it from behind the net. It's a fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Move to the middle. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Trying to gain a step. He's clear. Puts it on goal. And that misses. Rochester's got the puck along the boards. One time blast. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Puck moved over to Ronaldo. Handles it again. Takes the pass. Moves it to Ronaldo. Misses high. Not a bad shot. He just tried to make it too perfect and shoots it over the crossbar. Here's a chance. Centered out in front. Shoots it on the backhand. Denied by the goaltender. Takes that pass back at the point. Rister. Big time stop. And another stop. Tries to feed it over to Walker. Walker's got it on the offensive end. From behind the net. And off the side of the net it goes. Quick pass across to Bauer. Here they are on the attack. Angles it over to Ronaldo. Picks it off. Look out. Here's a chance on the backhand. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Here's a short pass to Lynn. Move to the middle. Shot. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Up the neutral zone now. They've got the defense outnumbered. Moves it around along the half wall. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Falcons get a hold of it. Moves the puck along the half wall. Handles the puck. Holds the puck at the line. Handles it along the blue line. Right up front. Shot and makes the save. Quick feed to Kruger. Great defensive effort with the strip. Takes it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Bradley. Now a quick pass to Ronaldo. Blocked in traffic. Up along the wing. Taken by Nolan. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick pass to XD. Here's a shot. Denies him in front. In tight, he had to make an excellent save. Still lots of time left here in this frame. It's a two-goal game with a 5-3 score. And a solid job tying up his opponent. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Morenz. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a shot from the wall. Makes the save and putting out the fire in front. Colorado Springs was preaching pucks on net at the morning skate earlier today, and they've executed that game plan, which is why they lead here in the second. Moves it to Uyghur. Puts the puck on net. Oh, couldn't finish the 
job. What an excellent opportunity, Ray. They worked their way into good shape. He's just not able to beat the goalie. Grabs it in his own end. Here they come on the attack. Takes the feet at the back end. Hammers one. Scores! His second of the game. Well, he's been on it tonight. Really good skating legs. He's finished off a couple of plays, too. That's a really good shot, but the goaltender waves at it, doesn't get the glove on it, and it goes in. has been like an offensive freight train and it's only the second here, Ray. They've gotten chance after chance after chance. The good part is they've capitalized on these opportunities. It's been a terrific offensive performance. Bruce is going to play it against the half wall. Pad save and the goalie made it look easy. Slides it to Pulak. Pulak's got it along the wing. Here's a shot. Beautiful glove stop on that one. The Falcons lead in a big way here in this second. They have been on fire offensively. Offense is own face off, and he wins the draw. And now he tries to get it across to Cook. Carries it across the line. Trying to shake loose. Big save. I know you like goals, Ferraro, but that was impressive. Yeah, great. Good. Nice save, pal. <laughs> and now he angles it across to Pullock. Looks to set up at the point now. Let's the wrister fly. Oh, a clutch save! Yeah, that's a lot of hard work for him to make this stop because he's got to find the puck first before he can get his body in front of it. Stop by the goaltender. Moves the puck down low. Here's a short pass to Petrie. And here's a pass to Petrie. And that one's broken up. Great block there. Bowers swooping in on the attack. On the attack along the boards. Quick feed to Dubuis. Here's a shot. Nothing. Colorado Springs has possession of it now. Moves the puck over to Thomas. Knocked away. The Tigers gain possession in their own end. Sends the pass over. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. And makes the save. Moves the puck. Slides the puck across to Bauer. With possession along the wall. Slides the puck over. Carries it in. Moves it up through the middle to the right. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Dumps it into the O-zone. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Plus has the puck against the half wall. And that's picked off. Stick save! Yeah, he got out tight to him, James. There's nowhere for that puck to go. Colorado Springs has been all over them tonight. Offensively, they have been clicking on all cylinders. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Moves it quickly over to McCabe. McCabe's got it into offensive territory. Quick pass to Nichols. The Falcons scoop it up along the boards. From the slot, wrist shot, club save. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Manning. Takes a shot. Rochester's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Calvert. Here's a shot. Comes up on the blocker save. Colorado Springs gains a hold of it. Manning's carrying it ahead. Pass back to the point. He scores! Well, I like the way they stayed aggressive here, James. After scoring once, they didn't just settle the game down. They went after it again. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. The 
Falcons continue to pour it on here in the back half of this second period, Ray. All they want to do is get this to the intermission in the shape they're in. They're very comfortable now. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Tigers gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Moves behind the net. Here's a short pass to Manning. Near the point. Cook's got it in the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. And now he moves it quickly to Ronaldo. Over the line they come. Back to the point it goes. Quick feed to Dubuis. Comes up with the stop. Through center along the wing. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. A little back and forth. Colorado Springs looks to attack. Take it along the wall by Thomas. And that's broken up with a stick in front. That knocks him off the puck. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. Thomas setting up against the wall. Turns it away. Sharp reaction save. Drives it to the front of the net. Drozdenovich has got it in the defensive end. The Falcons have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Back underway and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Oh, and another big stop! Well, whatever you gotta do, I guess. Man, those guys are lucky the masks are as good as they are now. Passes right to the front. Huge stick saved by the goaltender. I like the way he tracks the puck here. He's gotta find it, and then he gets his body right in front of it. That's a good save. From the boards, he takes that pass. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Across the point. Slides it up front. Puck grabbed by Brody. Great read, comes up with it. Slides it back to the blue line. Oh, what a hit. XD's moving the puck through his own zone. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. The Tigers take possession here in the open ice. And now it's grabbed by Pulak. Puck scooped up by Bradley. And it's a quick pass to Bruce. Moves it around along the half wall. Comes up with the steal. When you're down, sometimes you have to take a chance. A little bit of a risky play, but you got to push the envelope. Here's a chance, and that's... He scores! Well, when it rains, it pours. Man, they are just coming out in buckets right now as they get three straight. Really a dominating performance. Oh, he tried to make a desperation save there, but he gets beat. Not much else he could do. And we're gonna see a swapping of the goaltenders. You ever wonder in a blow-up why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? Colorado Springs has been firing on all cylinders as they get set to head to the room here in a few moments. What do you say if you're the coach? This would be one of the shortest speeches ever. Stick your head in the room and go, good job, boys, and then walk out. Nothing else to say. Here's a rocket of a shot. Close, but not close enough. Intercepted. Right in the slot. Scores! All over the rebound, and he puts it in. Follow through to the net. He picks up this rebound, makes no mistake. Once the goalie leaves the puck in front of the net, the goalie's at your mercy, and he does not miss. Rochester's back to center ice. What's the message here? Because there's still a long way to go. I don't think anybody looks too far ahead. They just, you got one goal, try and get another. Try and get yourself within shouting distance. Takes the feed. Here's a blast. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. Duras gains the zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. 
Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Dishes it to Jordan. Puts it in deep. The Falcons have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it over to Cook. Puts it to the front of the net, and that one's broken up. Nolan's got the puck. Right on the doorstep. Skates in behind the cage. Let's it go with the stop. Colorado Springs probably doesn't even need to rest in this second intermission based on how they have looked so far tonight up big. Center's jammed up and the winger grabs the puck. Quick pass to Cook. Puck picked up by Harper. Comes up with the stop. I think he got a blocker on that one. Taken by Manning. Big save. Really good positioning as he makes the stop from in tight. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Lynn's got it across the line. Here's a backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Grabs the puck in the defensive zone. And the puck's booted away. Manning stick handling in his own zone. That's just textbook positioning to break up the play. Walker's got it against the boards. Inside the offensive zone, takes the pass from along the boards. Looking to make something happen along the boards. From the blue line, they take control of it. Deflected away, nice defensive use of the stick there. Takes it across the blue line. Quick feed down low. Takes the feed at the point, and he slides it quickly to Weger. Centering pass, knocked away. Takes control of the puck. And now he moves it to Riley. Passes on over to Bauer. Thomas plays it now. And now it's over to Weger. Along the half wall with the puck. And he slides it quickly to Weger. Off target. Not going to get many better chances from that. Dead center right in the slot. On the attack along the boards. Moves it to Cammy. He scores! Deuce is wild for him now. Well, that makes your night. I'll tell you, it's great to score one. You get a second one. It's such a run. Thinking Hattie yet? Oh, he should be. I mean, he's got two in the bag already. I'll tell you one guy that would be thinking Hattie. Me. Wow, he got that thing away so quickly. Waited for the pass, timed it perfectly, and then beats the goaltender. Rochester's got one here in the second. They need many more to follow, though. Yeah, but they've got to start somewhere, I guess. Something positive, something to build on, but it's been a pretty rotten game for them so far. Here they come on the attack. Nice feed from the boards. Oh, so close. Close enough that that's just a couple inches away from being a goal. Pomeroy's lugging the puck. And the middle frame almost done. Big time stop there. Nice pass. One minute left in the second period. Petrie's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Kruger. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Trying to make something happen while trailing, and this one doesn't complete. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kruger. Back to the blue line. Colorado Springs gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Stones got it along the wing. Great poise here as he gets it back. Puts it up front. Breaks up the pass in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Now he slides it up to Harper. With possession along the wall. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Colorado Springs gets a hold of it. Let's it fly. Big time save with the blocker. Receives the pass. Feeds it over to Gonzalez. And there's the wrap-up cue for period number two. Everything old is new again. 
if you wear your vintage jersey to our next game, you'll receive a coupon for a free burger. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away.
Welcome back, everyone. Both teams lined up at center ice, and we are ready to get this third period underway. Here we go. Third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. 40 minutes into this one here, Razor. How do you see things? Colorado Springs doesn't need to score any more goals. They've got a comfortable lead. They're in the position where they can't give away anything. Don't let your opponent climb back in this. Winds up, lets it go, shuts them down. The Falcons scoop it up along the boards. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes the pass. Thomas moves it ahead. Thomas plays the puck. Here's a shot. Oh, that just goes wide. Handles the puck. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Let's it rip. Denies him on the slobber. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Tripping the call on the play. I don't necessarily think he's trying to trip him here, James, but he gets a stick into his feet. Down he goes. Face off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Well, here's another power play, James. They haven't been very good so far tonight. Nothing to show for the previous attempt. So now you have to get back to it, adjust, and re-attack on this man advantage. Puck grabbed by Stone. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Slides the puck across to Wilms. Gonzalez looks around. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Rochester's got the puck along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Can't keep a hold of it. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Fires one. Makes the save. Colorado Springs continues to lead early in this third period. Big story tonight for them. Their offense came to play. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Wide! In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Colorado Springs has put a lot of pucks on net, and they've been rewarded for it leading big time in the third. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Bruton's got it on the offensive end. Centered out in front. Stones him in front. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Colorado Springs has generated a lot of offense tonight, and they lead it big time early in this third period. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Shot. That one's off the blocker. The Falcons have it against the wall and manages to clear the zone and leaves the comfort of his crease to play the puck. Now a quick pass to Dubuis. Carries it across the line. Move to the middle. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And that one fired right into the bench. Colorado Springs continues to lead early in this third period. Big story tonight for them. Their offense came to play. Quick feed to Cami. Sends the pass over. Here he is in front. Gives them nothing in front. A chance for the shorthanded unit to clear here. Yeah, they need a gap here, James. They're burnt. And the goalie comes out to play the puck. Just a few seconds remaining here with this man advantage. Can they get something going here? Here's a shot. And that one's turned away. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. And he moves the puck across the blue line out of the defensive zone. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Morenz was hooked on the play and the official saw it. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence booking on the goal. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. Back to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. I always want to see the five-on-three a little more aggressive, James, than it usually is. I think the puck has to be moved quickly for an early shot. Where are the penalty killers down? Gets it out of his own end. 
Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. With the bank pass. Moves the puck. Rochester's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Colorado Springs has put a lot of pucks on net, and they've been rewarded for it, leading big time in the third. The Tigers win the draw. Here's a blast. Big time save on a big time shot. Great reflexes, another save. Amazing stops. It's like a wall. Smothered that in close chance. Colorado Springs has generated a lot of offense tonight, and they lead it big time early in this third period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Lynn's got the puck in his own zone and manages to clear the zone. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck over. Carries it in. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Colorado Springs has the puck. Gets it out of his own end. Rochester's gained possession along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Hammond. Slides it across. Shot, and there's the save. And manages to clear the zone. The Tigers gain control of the puck against the wall. Over the line they come. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, what a stop! Colorado Springs will try to break out here shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. And he heads outside the comfort zone now to go play the puck in his own end. Tries to get it over to Hammond. Hammond's got it in the offensive zone. Sends a pass over. That seals over the net. The Falcons get a hold of the puck along the boards. And manages to clear the zone. Slides the puck over to Dubuis. Well, the endless slew of penalties that have been handed out continues here as yet another one is being dished out. And he's off to the box for two for tripping. Not much of an argument there. It sticks between the player's feet. And with that call, it's a brief five-on-three man advantage here. Puck retrieval is always a key on a power play, in particular a short five-on-three. You don't want to lose a puck battle and have the five-on-three portion of your power play go away. Great defensive play to break it up. And now he moves it quickly to Dubuis. And that's picked off. Gets it out of his own end. And it's a quick pass to Bruce. Oh, and they go back on offense. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. Gets the puck back onto a stick. Bruce has got it deep in the offensive end. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Bradley swooping in on the attack. Takes the feed. And that's broken up. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Colorado Springs came in hungry for this one, and their offense has exploded to lead here in the third. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Slides the puck to Lynn. And manages to clear the zone. Rochester's got the puck along the wall. Directed over to Bradley. Dupuis got it into offensive territory. Wrists one. Makes the save with the trapper. Colorado Springs was one of their most dominant offensive performances we have seen in quite some time, off big time in the third. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Gets it out of his own end. Moves it around along the half wall. He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. good work on the power play they move the puck around get a quality shot but it's the traffic in front of the net that makes the difference
Rochester's still got to find two more goals, but they at least have one back. That gives them a little bit of hope, and the bench seems to have come alive a little bit. From the neutral zone now. With the steal. Thomas plays it against the boards. Nice pass. Takes the feed. Move to the middle. The Tigers gain possession along the wall. Up along the wing. Quick pass to Gonzalez. Moves the puck along the half wall. Hammers it from the point. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. With the backhand. Stopped by the goaltender. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Dumps it in. Rochester's got a hold of it against the wall. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Big chest save as he gobbled that one up with the trapper. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Rochester's still down by two goals in this one. Calvert's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Hammers it on net, turns him away! Colorado Springs has about a half a period to go here as they lead it in this third period. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Plus moves it into the attacking end. Right in the slot! Rochester's looking to break out of their own end. Gets that puck back on a stick. Calvert's got the puck. Knocked away. Colorado Springs has it near the wall. Takes a shot. Comes up with a stop. Ronaldo's picking up steam. They've got numbers. Sends it over. Handles the puck at the point. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he gains the zone here. Here's a chance right in the slot. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Here's an odd man rush. Cammy's got it against the boards. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Pomeroy's taking it from his own end. At center ice now. He grabs the puck. Receives the pass. Here he is, wrestled on net, stopped by the goaltender. Colorado Springs, players were saying earlier this morning that they wanted to create more offense. They have done just that, and they lead here in the third. And they'll be forced to regroup after the puck bounces out of the offensive zone. XD's got it in the defensive end. Moves it to Brody. Picks it up, and they turn on the pressure. Takes the pass. Oh, and he wants to get that one back as the stick breaks in the play. Works it across to Bruce. Looking to make something happen along the boards. The Falcons scoop it up along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Harper. Here's a chance. Here's the pass. Misses a golden opportunity there. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Right to the middle. Handles the puck. Tries to get the puck to Stone. Here's a short pass to Stone. Into the corner. Back at the point, they set it up. And now he angles it across to Harper. And that's just out of reach. Passes it over to Wilms. Nice feed at center. Moves up ahead now. Quick feed to Bradley. Let's it go! Denied by the blocker. Riley's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes it across the blue line. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Moves it quickly over to Weger. And now he moves it to Bauer. And that shot dies in traffic. Kruger's got it along the boards. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. We get a whistle and they'll do it all over at the other end. Yeah, of course, the team that iced the puck isn't able to change players. A rule put in a couple of seasons ago. 
still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a chance to set up now. Quick pass to Gonzalez. Moves the puck to Bauer. Dishes it to Thomas. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes that pass back at the point. Slides that one right across the blue line. Here they come on the attack. Good use of the body on the play. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. Pass right on the doorstep. And that one's broken up. Moves it to Hammond. Slides it on over to Calvert. On the attack along the boards. Here's a short pass to Calvert. Handles it along the blue line. And that banks off a stick. Here's a chance. A two-on-one with the stop. More than half the period has expired. Nolan's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Tries to get it to Ronaldo. And we've got a two-on-one. Takes the feet at the back end. And that goes wide. Sometimes you're so focused on shooting it quickly, you don't get it on the net. Gets in front of it. And sends it just out of reach. Through the offensive zone and behind the net now. Easily turned away by the goaltender. Colorado Springs holds a noticeable edge in the shot department. A big reason why they lead here in this third period. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And he slides it quickly to Bruce. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Pomeroy stick handling in his own zone. With possession along the wall. A chance from the slot. And a beautiful stop by the glove. Colorado Springs has about a half a period to go here as they lead it in this third period. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And he slides it quickly to XD. And it comes up with the save. The Falcons have looked good tonight, especially offensively here in this third period. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Carries it across the line. And that goes off a player. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Looks to set up at the point now. Quick feed to McCabe. Sends the pass over. With some momentum driving towards the net. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Trying to gain a step. All alone. Denies him on the breakaway. Bruce is lugging the puck. Good hit to pump him off the puck. Here they are on the attack. To his teammate. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Here's a chance out front. And now it's grabbed by Stone. Puck scooped up by Stone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Moves it quickly over to XD. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. He's trying to do too much with the puck there. They're already ahead. This is a time for safety. Harper is going to play it against the half wall. Colorado Springs looks to go on the attack. Grabs the puck at center. They've got the defense outnumbered. Here's a shot just oh. wide. They say it's a game of inches, James. If that puck is a couple of inches to the side, that hits the post and goes in. Williams brings it in. Centering pass, and he can't find his man. Picked up along the wall by Bauer. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Bauer's got it along the wing. Moves the puck. Here's a chance right out in front. Puck picked up by Bauer. 
Colorado Springs gains control of the puck. Quick pass to Petrie. They've got numbers. Here's a blast. And he says no. Colorado Springs players were saying earlier this morning that they wanted to create more offense. They have done just that, and they lead here in the third. Here's an offensive chance. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Carries it in. Scoops up the puck here. A little bump and grind, but still hangs on to the puck. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Moves it to Walker. Rips it. Oh, comes up with a stop. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Duras moves the puck. Takes the pass in the offensive zone. Rochester's got the puck along the boards. Here's a short pass to Ronaldo. Pass back to the point. And now he passes up to Calvert. Now a quick pass to Walker. Grabbed along the boards by Ronaldo. Seidenberg's playing it along the line. Oh, I like this, James. They've really cycled the puck well on this shift. Now they can hold it, and you put the pressure on the defenders. Eventually, they pull you down, or you get a great chance. With the puck under siege, can he get out of the zone here? And the puck leaves the zone. Quick feed to Walker. The Tigers have it against the wall. Puts it on goal. Gets a piece of it with the glove. The Falcons continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Nolan's won the faceoff. And they'll dump it in. Take it along the wall by McCabe. Feeds the puck across to Bruce. Over the line they come. Moves it around along the half wall. Stick saved by the goaltender. Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too. So there's really nowhere that puck's going to squeak through. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Brody. Brody's got it in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Bruce. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. Back to the point it goes. Moves it to Bruce. From the point, just misses. I'm going to have to get both hands out to count the number of misses he's had tonight. What a long evening. Moves the puck along the half wall. And now it's over to Lynn. Read it perfectly and breaks up the play. Jordan's got the puck. Colorado Springs gains a hold of it and tries to make a diagonal pass to Pullock. Slides the puck over. Sends a pass over. Centering pass. No room for that one to get through. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Rochester's got possession here in the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Morenz. Centering pass! Morenz setting up against the wall. Bats it out of midair using great hand-eye coordination. The arms up, there's the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Pretty cut and dry from up here, and the official saw it firsthand with hooking the call. It's a penalty of being in bad position, and I think when you impede a player like this, they should call the hooking penalty every time. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Well, their power play percentage has been pretty shoddy tonight. What a great chance for them in a critical moment here. They get another one, see if they can find a way to cash in. Picked up along the boards by Harper. Moves right to the middle, and that one's broken up. Rochester's got the puck. Takes it across the blue line. Quick feed to Wilms. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Looking to make something happen along the boards. 
And that one gets big air over the net. That's not going to do much good. A shot from the point that is a howitzer. It goes over the net. Who's going to tip that? Takes the feed. Wrist shot from the slot. Great glove save! Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. A big face-off here inside the offensive end. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. Stops him cold! The Tigers gain control of the puck against the wall. Along the half wall with the puck. And now he moves it quickly to Hammond. Nice pass. Puts it on net. Stopped by the goaltender. Late goings of this period. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Hammers a shot. Long jam in front. That's broken up. Moves it quickly over to Stone. And manages to clear the zone. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. Quick pass to Dubuis. Knocked away. Colorado Springs gains possession shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Skaters go off for a line change here on this power play. And now he tries to get it across to Bruce. Taken by Bradley. Couldn't catch up to that pass. If you can play in this 100 feet of the ice, you're going to probably win this game. Get the puck into the offensive zone with a simple, smart play. Get after it and try to forecheck. Dying seconds of this man advantage. They'll try to start it from here. Yeah, get it moving quickly up the ice. Get into the zone. See if you can get puck to the net really quickly. Backhander. Here's an opportunity to clear the zone. The Tigers get nothing here on this power play. We're back to even strength. Well, they can thank their penalty killers as the lead stays the same. They put themselves in a tough... And it's off the iron! Oh, pokes it away. Gutsy move, but it pays off. In need of a goal. The extra attacker's out on the ice. Nearing the final 60 seconds in this one. And he makes the save. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. The Falcons lead it late in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Comes up with a stop. In the final moments of this period. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Fires to the empty net. Just wide of the net. Pass to Calvert. Into the offensive zone. Puck lands right back onto the blade. And that puck leaves the zone. Towards the empty net. Oh, and the goalie catches up right there. Lynn's got it across the line. And there it is. Empty netter. That'll seal it up. Pretty easy one right there for him to cash in. Well, now you got a couple of goal lead here with the empty netter. That should be enough to put this away. Colorado Springs came ready to play tonight. Tons of scoring chances, and they lead it big time here late in this third. Kruger's won the draw here in the open ice. Gets the puck over to Petrie. Into the corner of the attacking area. Blocker save! Colorado Springs takes possession of the puck. Here they come on the attack. Here's a shot. Too much congestion in front. Final buzzer sounds, and this one's in the books. Well, they'll look at it and say, hey, we controlled play at certain points. We had a better face-off percentage, but just not enough. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.